Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe, activate those notifications, and just go ahead and give it a like. So today we're gonna paint over another painting, and it's on a panel, but this is a canvas panel, so I like this type of panel, not like the other one that was like compressed cardboard or whatever. So there was some a plant I had done, so I painted it over it and then flipped it upside down because here's a pot. And I'm a huge fan of Henry Matisse, or Henri Matisse. And this is probably my favorite painting, the Romanian blouse, which I've already done here on my channel, so you want to check that out. It's in here somewhere. But we're going to do the blouse, but we're going to you know, continue with drawing the member like I've done in the past tutorials. It's like a collection that I'm doing now. Dress them up, put them in suits, or Romanian blouse in this case. So quick... Henry Matisse bio, he was a French artist, he was part of the Fauvism artistic movement which was all about color and line, it was more important than actual realistic representation of their subject. This one, the Romanian blouse, was painted in 1940, it's oil on canvas, and Henry Matisse was attracted a lot by fashion, pattern, design, wallpaper. Like, just even looking through his book, like there's so much pattern, you know? A lot of wallpaper, a lot of, like, different type of dresses. And it's very colorful, very vibrant, so I'm really attracted to that. So now we're going to, you know, draw the blouse. I'm going to draw the blouse, and then once I'm done drawing it, I'm going to add more gesso to the blouse. So, like I said, the directions to this are in my YouTube channel, if you want to check that out. It's actually very simple to do. And then the most important part. So that was easy. Add more gesso to this part. Not to the background because I actually like what I had behind here, so I'm a little bit upset that I went so far up with the gesso because I would have liked to have kept some of that. But you know, you can always bring it back. So I've added some gesso, covered this up with some orange, and now I want to add yellow to all of this. Now once it's dry, so I'm going to flip this over and drip the orange that way, and then drip some white this way. So I'm going to take the same color that I used for the background for this part, just going to mix it with white. And I'm not sure that I like this white here, so that might be going away. Actually a lot of the yellow too, I'm not sure that I like it. This perfect color now I have to come back in with some details. The hands are actually the same color too, so I debated putting the hands in here, but at the end I opted to do it. Well, they're a little bit darker. Oops. There. Not contaminated this white paint. Bummer. Yeah, I need this to dry because I, I don't want it to blend. And I'll continue working on the background. So I took out the white, and I feel all of this needs to be orange. But I'm going to flip it upside down, because I want it to drip this direction.
started to bring in some of the pattern on the blouse. I'm not sure how I feel about the hands being there. Part of me wants to remove them and just make it the skirt. I mean, because it'd be weird to have the hands, right? But this, you know, surreal. I don't know. I have to think about those hands. I'm still considering taking or removing more of that yellow, but I'm thinking about it. So I've started to bring in some of the details to the blouse. I removed the hands. I felt that they weren't necessary for this piece. Okay, I think I'm okay with the amount of yellow on the background. It was just clashing too much for me. As much as I wanted a lot of it on there, I think it looks better right now. And then I added some crimson red towards the bottom. Yep, 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 coming along. So, I thought I was done, but then I took a picture of it and the background becomes like super muted. That's the thing about photographs, they never do justice to the painting, but I don't want, I mean, I want the photograph to look cool. And I'm also noticing this looks awkward. It looks odd, so I have to figure out what to do here. I think I'm going to bring this crimson up to this part. I don't know. Something's missing. I just don't know what it is yet. I'm done. I really like it. It's just going to need a frame so it's on a panel. But, what the hell is that noise? But since I have so many paintings in here, I'm just put it away in the closet. One day I'll have a, a show themed around this theme. And then it'll come out and I'll buy it a frame. I think it was a good idea to remove the hands because they just didn't make sense. So I made it to where like this is the inside of the sleeves. I like how textured it is. I wonder what Henry Matisse would have thought had he seen this. Well, anyway, um, what do you think about it? Tell me your comments. And make sure to subscribe, like, and watch all the other content in my channel. And until the next time, adios you bye. Also, let me zoom in so you can get a closer look. But I decided just to keep that little amount of yellow. Adios.